Good to be back in Japan for my third visit as Prime Minister and I thank Prime Minister Kishida very much for the invitation to attend the G7 as one of the associated countries uh, who are here over the next three days. Uh, my first visit is here to the Hiroshima Peace Memorial. It was important uh, that I visit to pay my respects. Uh, August 6, 1945 is a day in which over 200,000 people uh, lost their lives just on that day. And of course, the consequences for the health of the citizens and those people who were here on Hiroshima on that day of the dropping of the first atomic bomb uh, continued to reverberate for decades after. Australia is deeply committed to a world without nuclear weapons and I am personally very committed to that task as well. Uh, we know the consequences uh, because uh, we see them right here. And in recent times with Vladimir Putin's irresponsible threatening of the use of nuclear weapons as well. It's a reminder that the world has to be vigilant and we have to step up uh, the campaign against nuclear weapons. Uh, this is an important meeting over the coming few days. Uh, the G7 uh, is a critical body of the seven of the world's largest democracies uh, coming together at a time in which we have global instability. We have global instability in our, our security issues with the ongoing illegal Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, but we also have uh, tension in our own region, but we also have global instability in part as a result of that Russian uh, illegal invasion of Ukraine and ongoing atrocities being committed in the global economy. Uh, we've had uh, lowering of economic growth, rising of inflationary pressures, rising of global interest rates that are having an impact on the world's citizens. Uh, it's a reminder uh, that none of us, uh, even those island continents like Australia, are islands when it comes to dissociating ourselves from the global economy, from global events as well. It's why Australia has a particular interest as a medium-sized country, an important country in this region and indeed in the world, of engaging with our partners. One in four jobs in Australia is dependent upon international trade. Japan is, of course, our second uh, largest trading partner and the relationship with Japan is very important going forward. So the tasks uh, working with our partners here are to shore up uh, peace, security and stability in the Indo-Pacific region uh, to deal with the issues of economic security, building resilience to future shocks, but also, of course, an issue that is a national security issue for all of the countries attending here, which is the issue of climate change, uh, which will have an impact, particularly in our region. I note the uh, Cook Islands, uh, Prime Minister Brown has been invited and we'll be here as well. I look forward to having discussions with him. Uh, they will host the Pacific Island Forum meeting uh, later this year. Uh, a seat at the table means that Australia can have our say. And Australia as a country whose word can be trusted, whose uh, deals that we make on economic issues can be trusted as well. A trading nation that respects the rule of law, that respects our international obligations. Uh, we. Uh, over the next few days, I look forward to having a range of discussions at the G7. I look forward to the discussions as well when I sit down uh, with our quad partners uh, here as well. But in addition to that, I have a range of, of bilateral meetings, uh, including with, uh, with President Soon of South Korea uh, this afternoon and with uh, Lula, the uh, leader of, uh, of Brazil as well, one of. Uh, the rising economies in the world and of course uh, Brazil has an important role to play as well in, in, in the international environment as uh, one of the lungs of the world.